All right, so um, it's Saturday, and no one's caught in the middle yet. So might as well take the what? Still so haven't figured out a name. Dead spider. Um, down the driveway. And I <coughs> forgot to mention in my uh, video, I forgot to start it up. I mean, I drove it home and you saw that in the video, but other than that, you didn't see much of anything. You didn't hear the engine. So, in case you guys didn't know, it does have a slight ticking problem. I don't think it's too urgent or too, you know, horrible. Subarus tend to tick. Oh, excuse me. So, pump, pump, neutral. Table idle. I cleaned up a bit, so can't really tell it's all the grass down there, but yeah. Clean up the carpet, so it looks pretty nice. I guess I should clean up a bit more. And crap, my battery's dying, so I better get this quick. Away we go. I'm gonna get the lanyard on my wrist. So you know, you hear the ticking, but whatevs. I took him down the road and around the block. Um, that's like, what, 12 miles or something like 10 miles? Probably about 10 miles. <clears throat> and uh, it, it does seem faster than the Loyal. I don't know if it's because it's carved or because it has because it has different compression or different gearing. I don't know. It just it just feels more sprinty. Not a lot faster, you know, but it just feels faster. I don't know if I should do a zero six it doesn't have insurance on it. That's just an, that's kind of a gamble. But yeah. I test out the low range and the fastest you can go in the lower range is about 35 miles an hour fifth gear. I don't know how that compares to other things. Probably definitely faster, not as low. But at the same time, it is a car. I think it's like the only car that has low range. I mean, if you got a Tercel, you could, and you want a low range, your low range was an extra low. Same was for a Civic. Huh, no mail. One of my dad got it. So I did idles at 9,000 RPM. Oh, I, I think the, the check engine light's burnt out because when you turn it on, it doesn't come on. It's supposed to, I'm pretty sure. I was excited at first because, oh wow, no check engine light. And then it doesn't, but then, then again, it doesn't come on when, uh, when you start, which is kind of, messed up. Oh what, now somebody comes in the driveway? Of course, somebody's got to follow me. Pretty clean down here. Except for that TV axle, but not too bad. Alright. I don't smell any burning oil either, so I'm pretty happy. And also, one more part. Here's the back seat, I can clean it up more. There's 
my nickel. Another piece of trim fell off. I cleaned it more, but if you look back in the old video, there was a lot of dirt right here. I was bored that day. Alright, done.